Let's see where he's gonna go. This is full beak diving into bubble gum. He is loving this pink one. Oh my gosh, he's eating a boba. Give me the straw. Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a very exciting video. We are here in Los Angeles at a VIP conference for YouTubers called Vid Summit. And today we're going to be doing a birdie boba challenge with fellow YouTube creator Caroline Von Petzhold and her macaw Love. Caroline has a super fun, amazing channel where she documents her life living with fun macaw birds. So be sure to go check out her entertaining birds flying channel. I'll be sure to link that in the description below. All right, so I've never seen a macaw drink bubble tea before. Have you? No, this is the first time. <laughs> okay, so maybe we're gonna start a new trend here. Okay. <laughs> and just to confirm, Love has never actually drinking bubble tea before, right? Mm -hmm. no. Okay, so this is gonna be a first for everybody, especially the viewers out there. And last but not least, shout out to Chala Boba here in Los Angeles for donating all of these amazing drinks today for Love to try. So. Let's get started. So what flavors are they? Pink milk, strawberry fresh tea, Thai iced tea, mango fresh tea, and butterfly pea flower tea. Now Love is a baby. He's only four years old. And he can get up to like 60 to 80 years old. So he has all his life. So this is already very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> in his first four years to drink boba tea. I think we'll just let him go and let him choose which one he wants to try first. Maybe before you know it, we'll have bubble tea all over the floor here. <laughs> I don't know, we, we have no idea what's gonna happen. This is a total experiment, but we're super excited to see if Love is a bubble tea fan. Go choose your first bubba. Let's see where he's gonna go. I think he's gonna go first for the, the orange one. Okay. What, what do you think? Yeah, I think so as well. I think he probably sees the fruit and he's gonna be like, ooh, I think that's a mango yeah. over there. You know how when a child turns like two or three and they give it like a cake? Yeah. I feel like this is that time period of his life. He's yeah. like being given bubble tea. This is like a really <laughs> big deal. He's like, I just don't know what to do. So we're gonna take out some of the tapioca pearls and see if maybe he is a boba fan. Yeah, he got one there. Let's see if he likes it. He's, he's definitely it, chewing though. it. Yeah. He's eating it. Yeah. You like it? Oh my gosh, he's eating a boba. <gasps> he definitely likes the boba. He's getting the other one. <gasps> Ooh. <Why? laughs> he definitely is a boba fan. The biggest flying parrot in the world eats boba. There you have it. He loves boba. <laughs> I mean, look at that. He is really going for it. So that's yes. awesome. He's more of an authentic boba drinker. Give me that tapioca pearl, I will take that any day. So I had an incident earlier with Uber, it really kind of stressed me out. So I actually left the straws at the boba shop, I totally forgot them. But I've got this cute little uh, coffee stir, compliments of the hotel. And uh, Caroline, do you want to go ahead and give them a try and see what you think? Yeah, I would love to. Wow. He's actually drinking. He's putting his whole beak in with his tongue and he's dipping in and getting it. We have the same taste buds. <laughs> okay, maybe try this one next. Let's so try. this one is th uh, Thai iced tea from Thailand. All right, let's try this. Oh my gosh. Mmm, mmm. Try this one. Like, no, give me a straw. No. No, we don't have a taco about the straw. Give me the straw. So this one's called the pink milk drink, but not like the popular pink milk drink that you guys might know of. This is a Thailand uh, drink made from solid cider, condensed milk, evaporated milk, regular milk, and a couple other things. So it's, it's really, really good. They make it really nice at this place. It's got a really unique flavor. Look at this boba. This boba is like art. It's not just a drink, this is art. It's true. That's the way I see it as well. It, it is like art. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm glad she agrees. <laughs> now let's try this art. Mmm! Oh my gosh. This literally tastes like pink bubble gum. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so freaking good. She actually showed us wow. how to make this recipe for this drink in one of my videos a year and a half ago. It's really great and it's inspired a lot of people around the world to sell it in their own bubble tea shops. Every single bubble tea has its unique flavor and style and consistency and character. Yes. I just love it. Yeah, 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 definitely. And he's loving the straw. He's loving that little coffee stir stick there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna try the pink bubble? That is happening here. This is full beak diving into bubble gum. He is loving this pink one. 
He likes the boba and the drink. Look at that. All right, guys, it's official. Love's favorite bubble tea happened to also be Caroline's favorite bubble tea in this order. So it was the mango with the boba, the pink drink with the boba, then the butterfly pea flower, then the Thai tea, and then the strawberry fruit tea. But believe me, he was a big fan of the boba tapioca pearls, which is awesome. Yes. So again, thank you so much, Caroline and Love, for joining me today. And I hope that you viewers at home had so much fun watching the official largest macaw in the world trying bubble tea for the very first time here on my channel. And definitely remember to check out Caroline Von Petzhold. I will be sure to leave her channel link in the description below. Check out her channel. It's super fun with all of the macaws and birds and her overall lifestyle of the love that she has for them. I'll see you again soon. Take care.